Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun one, of course. If you're new here, my name is Anna. I do makeup reviews, makeup tutorials, skincare, anything beauty related, I got you covered. Today's video is another Jones Road beauty video. I haven't done one in a while. She just launched her um, eyeliner pencils, the best pencil. And I picked up two shades. Now I had already had the shade black because I ordered the starter kit. So I got a taste of this. Um, it's a great pencil. Like if you saw my review before, I'm letting you know now, it's a great pencil. I really like it. So I had the black one. She released a brown one, a silver, and a navy. I passed on the navy because I just felt like I would be more inclined to use a brown one. And the silver one just is so beautiful. And like I saw one of her, um, like one of the people from Jones Road, they were doing like demos and like she had on this like silver under her eyes, like as a bottom liner. And I saw it like through the IG and I was like, oh my God, her eyeliner is so beautiful. And they were like, oh yeah. She's like, I have the new silver one on, but it's not launched yet. And I was like, when that launches, I'm gonna get it. Cause it's, it's stunning. It's, it's stunning. So let me give you some background on these pencils. These pencils are as stated online. It's like the 70s no frill, I believe she said. Um, pencil, the formula is dense, but it's creamy. And that's what I like about it. So I have black, brown, and silver. I'm going to demo it on my eyes just so you guys could see. Uh, I'm not going anywhere today. So if I have different color liner, it's totally fine. All right. I'm going to swatch you guys. I'm going to do some swatches up close so you can see the formula and everything. And then we're going to cut back in and I'm just going to start applying it. And I'm also going to be using my Jones Road mascara. So let's cut into swatches and then application. Right, so here we have Jones Road, the best pencil. That's what it's called. I love these. I mentioned that already, but I want to swatch them for you guys. So we're going to start off with the color black. And this is the, like the point, just so you could see. So it's like a traditional pencil. Like it's, you know, it's a wooden pencil and the formula is dense, but it's so creamy. Look at that. So that's black. Next is brown. And there is a difference between the two. And last, the color that I'm like the most excited about is silver. Look at this silver color. It's so beautiful. And it really like, it swatches like that. It wears like that. It's just stunning, stunning. I love it. So there you go. There's the swatches. Let's try these on. All right. So those swatches are really nice. The silver is just, it's amazing. But I do want to tell you guys something. I used the brown pencil in my eyebrows today. So my eyebrows are filled, but I just want to show you like, I'll, touch up the spot right here the formula is so creamy and like I'm gonna hold a pencil back here because it lays on pigment very easy so you want to go with a light hand if you're gonna use this in your eyebrows I'm going all the way back here and I'm just going to like walk it through my brows you see how it's applying it like here I could fill it in a little bit better like look at that you barely even have to touch like your skin and it just deposits the color very nicely. All right. So I'm going to do black on one eye, brown on the other, and I'm going to do the silver underneath, like on the bottom part. You can use it as an eyeshadow, like kind of smudge it around the eye. You can use it as eyeliner, whatever your heart desires. It's, it's fun. It's, I love it. All right, let's do the black and I'm going to do that on my my left eye so I'm gonna come in and I just want to show you guys like I let the pencil do the work for me okay so I'm laying it almost on its side and I'm just going to like barely even touch my eye just like that okay then I'm gonna close I'm gonna anchor my pinky on my cheek and just gently 
walk it along. Again, if you see, I'm kind of working on the angle of it. I'm not going in this way. That's kind of hard. Like, I can't even do my eyeliner like that. You do it that way, kudos to you. I can't. I get it on the side. Again, anchor your pinky. Always anchor your elbow, too, on, like, a table. Look down. Use a handheld mirror if you need to. But, like, almost, like, barely even touching my eyelid with the pencil. Just like that. And I'm going to come in. I'm going to look straight. I always start on the outside because I want the thickest part of my liner to be on the outside and then get thinner as it goes inside. Now I'm just going to gently walk it along. Like, you see, I'm holding my pencil because I'm doing the other eye. I have to hold it that way. But sometimes if you just kind of, because I'm going like this and I'm turning my hand, it just makes it easier. Just like that. Again, this is the black shade. Then I'll go over where I just went, like where I lined, just to darken it, just to give it a more kind of precise line. And like I said, even though it's a dense formula, the pencil is creamy. So I'm not really tugging or anything. You know what I mean? It's kind of, it's literally just like, watch. Again, barely touching. See? I love that. Like, it's so easy to use. I don't like when I'm struggling there and I'm constantly having to tug or whatever. At that point, I'd rather just skip liner. Now I'm going to do the brown one. The brown one is such a beautiful shade. It's like, don't sleep on it. Don't think, oh, it's brown. It's whatever. No, like this brown, at least for myself, it really makes like my eyes pop. And I will go into the sunlight and show you what I'm talking about when I'm done. So, the brown. And same thing. Now it's easier for me to do my right eye. So here, always anchor your pinky on your cheek and have your elbow on a table. And what I do, it's going to be easier for me to explain it this way. I go from like, pretend like the bottom lash line was to continue up and sort of kind of go back and forth. And then again, like on its angle. Again, with the slightest amount of pressure, it just applies it to my lid. And then I just fill it in. And this brown has no red in it. It has like the tiniest, tiniest like little flecks of like almost like a gold or something. So pretty. But like, look, you see how it makes my eyes pop? And you will see the difference. Don't think like, okay, well, black, brown, but no, there's, there's a difference. I promise you. All right, the silver. <laughs> what I like to do with it is I like to take it into my inner corner. But on the weekend, when I first got these, like in the mail, I was so excited. I was like tracking. It's like, oh, your order shipped. I got it and I actually used it right under here. I don't know what it is, but like this combo and like this silver with my brown eyes, looks so pretty. It just makes my eye color really pop. Like, look at that. You know what I mean? It's like very subtle. The other thing you can do too is you can kind of get in here and get like the inner corner, just like that. I'm gonna go to my other eye. See how it just gives like this extra like sparkle, extra like, I don't know, just something. It makes my eyes look more, I don't know, festive, happy, something. I just like the way it looks. All right, I'm going to put some mascara on. Now, I've done a ton of reviews recently on um, mascaras. This one is a little bit pricey compared to the drugstore. I believe it runs about $22, maybe $26, somewhere around there. I really like this mascara. It does not irritate my eyes at all. 
and it holds my curl. So I am just curling with my Shumora uh, eyelash curler. This is a big wand, okay? But it's no joke. And you're gonna see how like it coats the lashes. Now I've already done a review on this. I'm not gonna like go full into details with it, but um, I will link the review. Look at that. I got on my lid. But let me do my bottom lashes. What I like about this mascara really quick is you see how it's curved? I'm not left-handed, so I just kind of line it up with my eye and again, let it do the work for me. And just kind of go back and forth. This mascara always amazes me because it gives me length and volume. Let me just go at the bottom a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna clean up that little smudge on my lid and we're gonna go into the sunlight so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I'm in more of like a natural light, but I just want you to see, like look how, so this is brown See, it makes my eyes pop. And then this is the black, which is, you know, it is deeper. And then the silver underneath. Now, let me see if I can go into the sunlight without blinding myself so you could really see. Like, look at that. That's the brown with the silver on the bottom. And this is the black with the silver on the bottom. So that's what I'm saying. Like, there is a difference between the black and the brown. So there you saw it in natural light. Because, again, I'm filming here, like, in my studio. The lights are going to be bright. But when you see it in natural light, you can just see like, oh my goodness, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I like these a lot. Uh, these do retail for about $22 each. I really like it. I, they don't irritate my eyes or anything. And they do wear like all day. I didn't have an issue with it. Fading or anything, it's like, well, the black one I've worn a couple times already. I wore the brown and the silver over the weekends. Went out, did a couple errands. Um, didn't fade, it lasted all day, so. I really like it. Just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.